Adorama TV presents Getting the Shot with Corey Rich. Hi, I'm Corey Rich for Adorama TV. Today we're going to talk about shooting with the available light that comes from a campfire. It's that time of the year where we're all heading out with friends and family and spending long evenings near the campfire. And oftentimes when you shoot a picture around a campfire, you come back disappointed because either your subject, the people you want exposed correctly, are underexposed and the fire is overexposed. Today I'm working with Kat. Kat is actually going to be our model. She's sitting near the fire. This is a, this is a pretty tough job. And so, you know, this is a great thing if you're trying to talk friends or family into posing near a fire for you. It doesn't take a lot of arm twisting because in fact it's a pretty fun thing to do. So I'm going to kind of share with you some of the tips and tricks for making cool, well-exposed photographs around a campfire. My philosophy is always get there early, figure out where the campfire is going to take place, and really look for the correct background. In this case we're at a cool Sierra Lake with spectacular backgrounds. You can see there's kind of vegetation in the foreground and rocks and then trees. Really layered, beautiful background. I'm always paying attention also to the direction that the wind is blowing. I don't want the subject, the person I'm photographing, getting blasted by the smoke. That's your job as the photographer to kind of take the smoke, as you will, so that they can actually have, have fun, so that they're enjoying their time at the campfire. The magic hour for shooting at a fire is actually just as the sun goes down and before it goes perfectly dark. You're waiting for that moment in time, which only lasts for a few minutes where the sky is really glowing, where it goes purple or blue and it's glowing in the background. And the ambient exposure of the fire is comparable to the ambient exposure of the sky in the background. So oftentimes I'll spend time composing and practicing my shot, checking my focus, looking for the best composition while the light's not perfect. And then as we go into that sweet spot, that zone, that sometimes it's only five to 10 minutes where everything comes together, the ambient exposure of the sky is just right, that's when you make the best photographs. Now the beauty of shooting around a campfire is you don't need a lot of equipment. I'm using a Nikon D4S because of its ultra low light, high ISO sensitivity. I'm using really fast lenses because I'm going to be shooting in low light. So I have a 50 millimeter 1.4. That's kind of my go-to lens. If I want wide, I'll oftentimes go to the 24 millimeter 1.4 Nikkor. And if I'm going to shoot a little bit longer, I'll go to the 85 1.4. I don't use a tripod. The truth is, in my belief system, when you're on a tripod, it lessens your creativity by almost 50%. You need to be able to move around fluidly, move quickly, make minor adjustments right and left, up and down because it's sometimes just that minor adjustment that's the difference between a good photo and a great photo. And of course, we're always trying to go for great photos. Don't be afraid to shoot slow. I'll sometimes shoot as slow as 15th of a second, but I'll do bursts of images to make sure that somewhere in that sequence of images, I have a sharp frame. And you see I'm cradling the camera on my left hand and then holding the camera with my right to trigger it, and then really bracing it against my eye. And, um, and that really allows me a pretty darn stable platform. And I'll do a burst of images. You're seeing I'm shooting a few frames at a time so that I, I'm certain that as I move and as Cat moves at the fire, one of them is going to be in focus. It's really about just shooting lots of frames and really checking your focus. It's hard sometimes when you're shooting through the firelight to see if you're in focus or if you're focusing on, on your subject or if the autofocus is catching the fire. So sometimes I'll switch into a manual mode. If you're having a hard time getting a sharp image, don't be afraid to ask your subject to sit still. I mean, they're just staring into, a, into the fire. They're staring at the hippie television. Be sure to tune in to the Adorama contests and win all kinds of cool prizes. I hope you found some value in this tip and you can apply this to your own summer camping trips and make a beautiful photograph of your friends or family sitting near the fire. Thanks for listening. I'm Corey Rich. You're listening to Adorama TV. There's tons of free content like this getting published regularly. So follow us on YouTube, follow us on all of our social media channels, and uh, come on back for more. Thanks for listening. Do you want 
great looking prints at low cost, be sure to visit our easy to use online printing service. Adorama Pix has professionals who treat your images with the utmost care that you can count on. For a quick turnaround on photos, cards, or albums, use adoramapix.com.